Here's how to add numbers in a column where we're iterating one each, and I'm going to show you an interesting thing you can do with this. So in our B column, we want to do a goal. We want to set a milestone, perhaps, or a sales goal, or even a running goal. And we're going to put in 10 in this B2, because that's going to be our starting place. And then in B3, we're going to say equals B2 plus 1. Now, could copy paste this all the way down. We can copy, select all these rows, right click, and we can paste special formula only as well. And we can see that this is 10 through 21. We're just adding one to each row in this column. But what if we want to add more than just one? Well, our formula is plus one here. We're not actually using even any function or built-in formula. We're just literally adding these numbers together. We can do plus five here. And now, you see, everything else is plus one, so it changes. But let's copy this formula again, right-click, paste, formula only, and now every single row adds five. This is great for iterating even order numbers, IDs, anything you want here. We have a starting place, and then we add each one. But I want to show you one step more, because each of these formulas has plus five in it. We could create a settings page and say, and next to it, we can say iterator, and next to it we can enter the number, let's say 10. And B1 on settings now is our iterator. So let's go back to our sheet. And instead of B2 plus five, we can delete that five, go settings, exclamation point, B1. And now we are adding 10, whatever number is over here in this other page. Watch what happens if we copy and paste just this formula only. Uh-oh, we're looking at a bunch of 20s. This is not adding because this B1, as we copy paste it down, is changing to B7, B6, iterating itself. To not iterate the cell, we're going to put dollar signs in front of the B and in front of the 1, and that holds that B1. So now if we copy that formula and paste just the formula only, we get the iterator. And as we go down, the first B for here, 6, that's iterating, but our iterator is not iterating itself. It's not changing. So that's an interesting way to add perhaps a settings page and an iterator somewhere where maybe we want to play around with different steps here. And now we have different additions here going on each of these cells. Thanks for watching and enjoy more tips, tricks, how-tos, tutorials about Google Sheets here on Better Sheets on YouTube. Subscribe today. You're going to love what we got for you next.